Good morning, everybody. My name is OCD, and welcome back to a little update video for um, for somebody uh, since they called me out on my last video. Um, I didn't go into too much detail last time because we were doing the daily challenge. I wanted to do more daily challenge and less like explanation of stuff. Uh, this 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 time, I'm actually just gonna go on and go down the details, like down everything that I know right now. Um, also. Uh, links are going to be down in the description of everything that I use here. Um, I use a couple sites, uh, that I, that I know that are, that are really good. So if you guys like them, go check them out, give them some support. Um, what, what, what else did I want to say? Um, yeah, somebody actually linked something for, for this video in this discord and I will call them out when that happens. Um, let's go screenshots. All right. So, Secrets of the Stratus, April 12th, 2017. Today's Wednesday. Game is down. Game is being updated. Um, can you tell I'm recording this for the second time? Uh, so, we got three weeks uh, to prepare for this event. Not event. This uh, this update. Um, so, why not start now? Uh, I'm going to start. I'm not a, I'm not a big guy that, that studies for exams three weeks in advance. I'm, I'm the guy who, like, who gives myself about three hours to study before the test while it's getting handed out. Or something like that um, <clears throat> I said it nicer the first time uh, but secrets to the stratus let's get right into it first thing that that they're talking about is act 7 the search I think that's that's it yeah the search um, I do not pay attention too much to the plot I was I was pretty big in the story when I first started playing like with brother Hajun and then everybody knows what happened to brother Hajun um, I, I cried a little bit uh, and then Master Hong gets all gets all jacked and just gets angry. This, that was the that was the that was the point. Um, that was the point where I was I was getting really into it. Uh, but with the kind of a horror update, I wasn't very into the into the plot. Um, <clears throat> I knew before kind of a horror like Poharin and Heimujin were trying to like fight off demons and nasty stuff. Uh, but for people who do like the plot, new acts coming out. Uh, for those who are still leveling up and still doing the story, this is just a butt ton more XP that you're gonna get from doing the story. Um, I think my KFM finished the story at like Hong Moon Four, Hong Moon Five. You got you guys are probably with new characters, probably gonna get to Hong Moon Six with this update. Who knows? Um, again, I'm not too big into plot, and I do not have another character that I'm interested in leveling. Uh, and we'll go over that in a little bit. Uh, next, we have the skill tree revamps, and if all of my tabs are correct, it should be the next tab where I want to talk to you guys about this. Uh, it is a slight nerf for some characters, a slight buff for some characters. All in all, though, it's something new to learn for new and and veteran players in this game. I am going to be. I I already studied a bunch on the destroyer one. Um, it's just pretty nice because if you go over to BNS tree dot com let's go to the main site uh you can click any one of your characters and it'll bring you to the uh the na tree so you have all these stuff um but if you go to the top and click your your character so i'm i'm a destroyer if you guys didn't know that already um basically you're not going to be able to mix two elements together anymore um so destroyers you got earth build and shadow build you can't have uh, execute on with cleave. You can't have vice versa, uh, smash on with uh, with gale force and uh, eradicate. You can't do that anymore. Uh, so if you go to the the KR skills, you can scroll down. You can look at everything. Well, not not only untrain well trainable skills. You can look at everything, see what they do now. Um, and and just get a get a good feel of what's coming in three weeks. Uh, chop. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, I do know that they're probably no. Yeah, they do have it here. Uh, they do have the uh, the ultimate skills here. So just ignore that. Uh, we do not get that yet. Soon, TM. Uh, but like I said, there's a shadow build and an earth build. I'm pretty sure we do keep. So like, if you have three skill pages unlocked, I'm pretty sure you do keep all three. Um, but I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Uh, they might they might reset you back down to two. Uh, I don't know. Don't quote me on this. I don't I don't know what what is gonna do with that. I'm pretty sure you're gonna probably keep all three. 
Um, I did talk about something else. That's right. There's no more skill points. So if you go to skill tree destroyer, uh, I am level 50, hung moon 12, right? Go. Uh, I have 57 skill points. 57 skill points will not be there anymore when this drops. I don't know if we're going to get the hung moon point, uh, hung moon points for that. Uh, cause if the hung moon points drop, I'm pretty sure at like hung moon 12, you get like 60 points, uh, to put into either attack or defense, uh, attacking skills or defensive skills. I don't know if that's going to come out. They don't say it, but, but it's something new to learn. So if it drops, it's something new, get your, get your, get your notebooks, get your pens and papers out. We, we gotta, we gotta study a little bit. Um, I think that's it for that. Uh, so yeah, BNS tree, really, really good uh, for for learning this right now. Uh, I normally do trainable skills only, so I can see what they change if they changed anything. I did notice a couple things, but nothing, nothing too major. Uh, maybe a little PVP nerf for for destroyers, and I heard soul fighters get the get a little bit of a pooper there. Uh, next thing they were talking about was the insta insta fifty and hung moon level twenty. Let's get this straight, guys. It's not get in get a character instantly level 50 hung moon 20 it's a getting getting an insta level 50 character i've seen a couple games do this where uh after a while they'll actually just um have people like if you guys are new if you guys are old uh just get a level 50 character um this one i know is going to be paid for um but you cannot get it with hung moon coin uh so like you can't sell gold and get a level 50 character uh as hyperactive ftw on my discord has said uh with a the little tweet tweet picture uh you cannot buy the level 50 vouchers with hong moon coin so it will have to be real money um but like i said it's for for anybody who can do that uh, uh me personally i'm not into leveling so i might like delete my warlock and then get my warlock the insta 50 depending on how much it is um if it's expensive, probably not, because I'd just do three days of leveling and get them to hit Hung Moon 5. It's, it's just my thing. But for veteran players, well, more for veteran players than, than you know, the new guys, is Hung Moon 20. Uh, I'm Hung Moon 12, not very close to Hung Moon 13. I'm not even close to Hung Moon 20. I do not know if the XP changes will, coming, will, will come with this as well, because I think Hung Moon 13 to 14 is like 200 mil. And I'm still at or like a hundred and something mil, and I don't I I don't even know fourteen to fifteen, and God knows fifteen to sixteen could be like three hundred million XP. I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't know if if it comes out, <clears throat> if the uh, if the XP changes come out, then it might be a little bit easier to get Hong Moon twenty. I doubt it will though, because NA has a couple Hong Moon fifteens already and a bunch of Hong Moon fourteens. Um, but yeah, that's it for the, the Insta 50. The next thing is the Hung Moon training room. It's very self-explanatory. Uh, you go into a room, you pick whatever boss you want to fight. It's good to learn mechanics. Uh, this is, I'm pretty sure it's solo. I don't know if you can go in with a party because that would just be doing the dungeon. Um, you can pick anybody from like floor one to one to 20. If you want to test out the mechanics there instead of going and wasting Dura. I don't know if this kills their ability we'll see um i did have I, I did see a bunch of people do this training room uh just to test out dps with uh very stationary bosses i'm gonna say and it uh it looks fun especially for for someone like me that that likes to do mechanics like learn the mechanics before actually going into the fight and this one you'll actually be able to get a boss to sit in front of you and you can DPS it. You can learn its mechanics. You can learn its moves. It's, it's very good. It's very nice, especially for the new players as well. If you guys don't want to go into Yeti without knowing all the all the stuff, I don't know if you can set the uh, set the HP bar, but we'll see what what comes out. Uh, next biggest thing, biggest thing I was I was hassled on in my last video is not going over Naryu Sanctum enough. Uh, this is another six man dungeon. I'm pretty sure it's six man dungeon. If I'm wrong. Flame me in the comments. I'm pretty sure it's six man though. Um, and uh, it drops the legendary bracelet. Bracelet of legends. Legendaries. 
all right it's pretty good all right uh it's a three boss run uh and i will leave, leave a link in the description for this uh from freedom plays uh the first boss 134 million hp you go down here you read all the read all of his mechanics watch all the videos try and get yourself uh used to the boss it's got four pages it's got three bosses i heard i read that the first boss is like eh for difficulty like it's actually it's it's pretty hard the second boss is somewhat easy and then the third boss the the this guy is uh is pretty hard uh it's very mechanic based but it does drop the legendary bracelet again i'll leave a link in the description for what site i'm using for this uh, you got two different types of bracelets. You got the dragon bracelet or the tiger bracelet. Um, all class specific skills. So if you get a dragon bracelet, it'll be your dragon bracelet. I think when it when it enters your inventory, that's when it's that's when it's class specific. So I don't think like <clears throat> an FM dragon bracelet drops, and you have no FMs on your party, so it just goes to waste. I think it's a dragon bracelet. And then when you upgrade it to like stage one, that's when it becomes like FM or destroyer bracelet. Um, but for destroyers, every left click you do uh, deals bonus additional damage, 75% of your AP while in fury. Uh, I think that goes all the way up to like 200%, which is nuts at stage 10 um, or like 150, something like that. And then the tiger bracelet for destroyer, every, every F proc, so mighty cleave or gale force grants you a tiger buff. And uh, the tiger buff increases the damage of your right click by 70% of your AP all the way up to, I think, 150%. Again, leave a link in the description. Actually, you know what? Let's just open a new tab, type in cheat sheet. <clears throat> and uh, pretty much if you go up here, click destroyer, you have uh, the, the soul shields, the amulets, uh, the TOI badges, Hybrid badges, amulets, vortex temple, and then all the way down here is the bracelets. Uh, you can go down here, 200% of your AP at 10. 200, yeah, 200% 200 of your AP. So the bracelets are very OP. Are OP OP. All right, bracelets. Okay, you got you got me, Mister 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 Turtle. You got it. You understand? <laughs> I love you. I swear. Thank you for flaming me and making me do this. Uh, Nari Sanctum. That's that's. And then going to the next thing, which was new to me, because I don't, I didn't actually read up on this uh, until it, until it started, still, until it was on site. Celestial Basin. Um, I'm very into this. Uh, a very, very into this actually. It's a new 24 man dungeon, not like BT, but like Poharin, uh, or uh, Beast Bog. What's the one in the mountain? Silver Frost Mountain? No, what the hell is it called? The Ice One. Where you take on the three bosses and the Balrog spawns. I don't know what it's called. Why can't I think of what it's called? Um, whatever. Celestial Basin. Uh, you get to do a couple dailies. A daily missions. I think it's like three. Uh, and then you have a chance of this guy spawning. So like a BBB spawn. And Beast Bog. Um, they drop Heavenly Peaches. I don't know why they call Heavenly Peaches. But okay. Uh, let's see. Can I can I get it right on the first one? Yeah, I did it. All right. So Heavenly Peaches is uh, something used for the new amulet badge. Uh, you saw when I scrolled down. Uh, this is a new slot. So not a TOI badge. It's an amulet. So this can be used with a soul badge. Um, as you can see, 20,000 peaches. I do not know how many peaches you get in a day. Uh, Granted that you see 1,200 peaches for this void fragment, I'm maybe gonna say four to 500 a day um, from the dailies, and then I don't know how many you're gonna spawn from that that elephant dude. Uh, it's it looks huge, and I saw one fight of it, and it's it's pretty big, it's pretty beefy as well. Um, but you can get void fragments, Amon rings, forging orbs, Titan skin, stones of wisdom, so a bunch of upgrading stuff with these peaches pretty nice i do not know what the yellow orbs are so sorry about that i i don't i don't know sometimes in when i'm watching streams uh frozen stingers don't actually have like a like a a stinger on it it just has like an orb like a ball i don't know uh but with 60 chokma feathers well raven feathers or 60 msp flowers um these badges should be good and they are 
uh, for destroyers, the Chokma badge. Again, I'm only destroyer. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, if you guys want to see, link in the description. Go to that cheat sheet. Click your character. This this is all there. Uh, each successful left click in Fury will reduce the cooldown of Mighty Cleave by six seconds. So if you Mighty Cleave first, and you cancel four times, you can Mighty Cleave again. And you cancel four times, Mighty Cleave again. You can stack Mighty Cleaves, and it's really it, it just seems like a ridiculous amount of damage in my head if they're staying still. What's worse than that? And by worse, I mean like DPS wise is is just I can't comprehend it. While willpower is active, so pretty much your entire fight if you're doing your rotation correct, every right click resets the cooldown of your proc, uh, the gale force. So you can just sit there going right click F, right click F, RMB F, RMB F, RMB F, and just keep your willpower up. Like. It hurts my head, dude. It hurts my head to think. Uh, and then while willpower is active, so most of the fight, every Gale Force will deal bonus additional damage equal to 350% of your AP. So you're getting, say you have like 900 AP, or well, 1000 AP, you're getting 3500 additional damage on every one of your Fs. <laughs> Alright, well that's the, that's the Raven Feather badge. Uh, next is the MSP flower badge. Uh, every successful first attack of Ember Stomp, so if you hit three while the boss is sitting in front of you, uh, will reduce the cooldown of your fury by four seconds. If the boss is away and you accidentally use Ember Stomp, there goes that badge. I don't know, man. Uh, if you have a reset, or if you have like a like a warlock in the party, you can actually fury, Ember Stomp, get your reset from like soul burn ember stomp again and your fury is down by eight seconds right there or you can do every left click in fury will reduce the cooldown of fury by half a second so maybe like 10 seconds if your ping is okay uh so it's pretty it's pretty nice these things aren't again are not the same as toi badges so you can use this one and a toi badge keep that in mind uh while you're looking while you're looking at this celestial basin that's that's basically it you go in there for the dailies get some peaches if this guy spawns make sure you're in there because i don't know how many peaches he drops and what i'm more well more most excited for is mushin's tower 16 through 20 yes i'm so happy for this i don't know why but it's just a new challenge for mushin's tower it's i like the solo challenges uh floor 16 i'm pretty sure it's like the like the twins from everywhere so um like bloodshade so fire and ice uh, i think i think i saw that every time that i see 16 to throw 20 videos i just skip floor 16 17 i just go to like you'll see uh floor 17 is the warlock so it's probably going to be somewhat difficult uh but I, I don't know we'll see again we'll we'll do this together for floors floor by floor we'll do it together maybe on stream floor 18 is the twins from uh azura which is uh, which is pretty pretty hard in itself, uh, with a party of four. Um, think about it solo. Uh, I think you have to kill one and then kill the other. It's at, after that. Hold on. Talking so much hurts. I don't like talking this much. Um, but yeah, you have to take on the twins from Azura on floor eighteen by yourself. Floor nineteen is pretty much like a Poharin Jung Hado kind of fight. So she's going to be sitting there in the background just pelting you with bullets while Jung Hado is probably like on the floor with you, mounting you, like breaking your neck, giving you like a like a choke slam. Well, not a choke slam, a, a friggin' full Nelson. You're, you're just dying slowly and Poharin's over there like shooting you with her ma machine gun. I know this is not Poharin, but it's basically like her mechanics, I think. And then none other than Yun Sang on floor 20. <laughs> you get it? 420? Floor 20? Ha! Ha! Um, he drops uh, Yunseng beads. He's very mechanic based. You need to jump. You need to invul stuff. You need to you need to knock him down. You need to, I think you need to knock him down and apart. They need to knock down. I or CC. I don't know, man. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be something to learn. Uh, or if you have a bunch of bunch of AP, you can just breeze through it in five seconds. Apparently, the record is in KR or whatever think about that five seconds and i think he has like six million hp 
Um, let's see, can I click on the right thing? No, nope, clicked on the wrong thing. So you can probably like pause the video to see what your uh, what your badge does. Not badge. No, I did click the wrong thing. Yeah, where's the thing? No, I didn't. So yeah, I did click the wrong thing. No, I clicked the right thing. These uh these young sang beads that you get from that will be used for a new like badge soul badge. So we'll take the spot of the TOI badge. If you like one of these effects better than a TOI badge, then go for it. You know what I mean? Um, you can hit pause and and stop it here. All the links again will be in the description. Uh, but this is the part that I do not get. If anybody knows, if anybody understands what this is, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, you have to collect 56 Yonsang beads, which I think are 10, like bundles of 10 of the regular beads. So like Yonsang, like floor 20 can actually drop one of these, but every other floor can drop like a Naxxon badge, like just one single, one single bead. And I think you need 10 of those to make one of these. But like the crafting, I don't understand. I don't understand this. If you guys understand, if you guys know what that means, leave a comment down below. Uh, help us all out. I'll probably pin that if you guys know this. Um, but let's go right to the uh, right to the bead, <laughs> the bead amulet or badge. Um, for destroyers, it's pretty much if you put up if you put stone shield up, you have a three second buff. So instead of like the one that I use, the smash badge, instead of using smash, and I have a three second uh, wrath buff. Um, you just put up your shield and then you have a three second wrath buff. Um, or you can use, uh, every wrath that you do will reduce the cooldown of X by any type by one second. So like if you're in fury, you smash right first, no smash fury smash, and then just keep, keep doing your any cancel. You could probably knock your smash down to like a 25 second cooldown. Maybe if your ping is okay. Um, which is pretty nice. Uh, what's this? What's the last thing? What, what, what's this? Oh, no, this is just a, the Hung Moon 50. Well, Hung Moon level up thing. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is that, that's it. So we have three weeks to learn more about this. Uh, again, links are in the description below. Um, if you want to come over to the Discord, uh, this is my Discord link. If you want to come, just drop whatever region you're in whenever you join. And I'll, uh, I'll put you in the specific region. Just talk, talk in there, have fun. Uh, if you guys need to ask me a question, you can always comment down below or ask me in Discord. But this is a, uh, a very long video, so I'm sorry about that, um, Mr. Turtle. I hope you're, I hope you're happy with yourself. Uh, this is for you. Uh, again, if you have any questions, comment down below. Whatever you need, uh, we'll probably answer it. Whoever, whoever's here. Um, Links are in the description of what I've used in this site, well, on this video. And, uh, yeah, we got to learn together. Uh, so if you guys want to drop a sub here, look in the description, go to my, go to my Twitch, drop me a follow there. I'll be, I'll be doing stuff uh, for the next three weeks. We'll be, we'll be trying, trying this stuff out. So, uh, yeah, uh, my name is OCD. Thank you all for watching. And I think I didn't miss anything, but whoa, focus, focus, camera, focus. Focus. Thank you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Kawaii turtle. I love you.